completely what the f facts about guinea pigs and you won't believe the last one. After searching hundreds of scientific papers, I've discovered the strangest things about guinea pigs. Here is my top 5 WTF facts about them. Have you even wonder why guinea pigs are also called potatoes? We don't know why, but it could be because they are the same size, even though they are much cuter. Another reason could be that some naked guinea pigs really look like small potatoes. Did you know that the skinny pig is not totally naked? They still have some fur on their nose and a little bit on their toes. The one that is fully naked is called the Baldwin. A fact about them is that they are born hairy and lose their furry coat after four to six weeks. The skinny pig and the Baldwin are the result of selective genetic mutations in laboratories. Therefore, they were kept as test subjects because the skin of a guinea pig is similar to human skin. Let me know what you think about those hairless guinea pigs. Would you have one at home or are they not your style? Wanna hear the craziest thing ever about guinea pigs that could be in a sci-fi movie? In a paper published in 2021, guinea pigs were used in brain-to-brain -brain communication to transmit words to humans. I always knew that guinea pig have been a popular lab animal because they are very docile and not aggressive as the other animals. Also, they share many characteristics with us. But when I've read this scientific paper I was wait, I saw something like that, in the TV show Lime Town. The experiment proved that it's possible to transmit sounds heard by guinea pigs to an implant in a human ear. The goal of this experiment was to try to restore hearing for those who have lost it. It's not surprising that guinea pigs get upset when we don't give them any food, even after they've been weaking loudly to get our attention. I think they are the ones who want to put an implant in our brain. There is also this strange disease that guinea pigs can get, but we'll get back about that later. Because of their unique digestive system, this is why you have to be careful with some veggies. Guinea pigs are not able to fart like humans and pit bulls do. One of the main reasons is that they are much more capable of extracting nutrients than we are. Guinea pigs will experience bloating when they have difficulties to pass some gas. I remember our big orange fluffy pumpkin was not feeling too well after we changed her diet with new veggies. To prevent bloating, avoid giving too much cabbage, Brussels sprouts, green beans, or broccoli. Make sure they have plenty of hay and water. If they feel bloated for many days, it could turn into a serious health problem. I can't believe I never knew that guinea pigs can have diabetes. Like humans, it is possible that their bodies have difficulty regulating their blood sugar levels. Scientists don't know the exact cause, but they think it could be hereditary or caused by a virus. They also believe that an imbalanced diet with too many carbs could be a factor. Processed food like low-quality pellets and an excessive amount of fruits should be avoided. A guinea pig with diabetes will show different signs like excessive drinking, urinary infection, peeing more often, weight loss, and also cataracts when the eyes get cloudy. These symptoms can also be associated with other medical conditions, therefore only a vet is able to give the diagnosis with proper tests. The good news about guinea pigs with diabetes is that it does not happen very often and in some cases, it can be cured. The treatment of diabetes in guinea pigs is similar to that for humans, and it should start before any symptoms appear. Encouraging a healthy diet with plenty of fiber is a must. Hay and leafy greens are essential. The pellets should be of good quality and given in small amounts per day. If your guinea pigs like fruits, remember that these should be given as treats only a few times per month. If you like those strange facts about guinea pigs, then follow me. This might be controversial, but did you know that the guinea pig as we know it, does not exist in the wild? Guinea pigs were domesticated over 10,000 years ago by the ancient population living in South America. The Incas and other indigenous people were raising guinea pigs for their spiritual properties and other beneficial attributes. Some wise people say that they were tired of being kept in the backyard to be raised as a source of food. Therefore, as soon as the Europeans came to South America, the smartest guinea pigs took their chance on the first ship to escape their living conditions. With their incredible charm, they then became the favorite pet of the royal societies of the 16th century. But did you know that there are at least five wild members of the cavea genus living in nature at this time? They are all listed on the most endangered species list. 
This is mainly because, as prey animals, they only have evasive maneuvers as a defense mechanism. Releasing them into nature is not the right thing to do. If you or someone you know cannot support them, contact your local rescue shelter if you cannot find a place to rehome them. One more amazing facts. Many guinea pigs owner who have watched this next video have been able to keep their little piggies happy at home. And because you stay till the end, you can become an amazing owner by watching it.